Hi folks, uh, welcome to Bookends Allotments. Sorry we haven't put any videos on lately, um, just had problems with our software. So just to show you what's been coming off the allotment, these are going to our friends today, they're very close friends. As you can see we've got a nice butternut squash, a few tomatoes, some French beans, a lettuce, some of our long peppers, that's quite nice, it's beautiful. We've got some of our little sweet peppers and that stuff there is um, rhubarb chard and we have got some um, other Swiss chard at the back there, multi lights I think it's called as a wife says and the, the old favourite rhubarb it's all looking nice. I'll just move you over to the other one. As you most likely know, a lot of people are putting on their beans. Uh, a few tomatoes. That's a black Russian. He's just not quite there yet, but as you can see from the other ones, they're coming on nicely. And some of our onions. I'm quite happy with the, that's a, a one of the pink ones. I'm quite happy with the size of these. This year we did have a real failure on one of our videos of our onions and that one is there is the hard cabbage. They'll like that but uh, I'll just take you into the kitchen and show you what goodies we've got there. See you in a minute. Right there we go guys. Um, you're looking at our rhubarb harvest and I've got it on the scales and as you can see it's in pounds and ounces. It is dead on 17 pounds so Take up, say like a pound off for the basket, 16 pound. That's not bad. There's some beautiful stems in here. Some real thick ones. So I can see if I can sort some out for you. Look at them, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This is gonna be really nice in our rhubarb. Well, we had some rhubarb uh, crumble yesterday. But yeah, it's all looking good. And we'll give you a little bit more of an update when we get up to the allotment. See you soon. Right folks, uh, here is a small selection of what we've been having from our allotment recently. I'll start you over here with these bright red things. They're the raspberries. We put them on, uh, wash them off, put them on tissue paper to dry off. Then we put them on a tray with a tea towel in between the tray and, and the raspberries. So we can just freeze them for 15 minutes, or maybe 20, it's up to you, and pop them in a bag. They freeze just nicely so they don't all stick together doing it that way. But look at that beautiful colour. It is. Just move you over to some of these, these patty pans, and that pepper. Look at him. He is nearly a quarter of the way up my wrist. It's a beautiful one. It's about the longest one I've had so far, but the colours on them are absolutely gorgeous. We'll be having some of these with tea tonight. Chop them up, bit of fry light on them, onions, tomatoes, just put them on a tray in the oven, just roast them, beautiful. These little ones are gorgeous, very nice. Let's just see, and is there any more? No. He's, uh, no. Look at this one, he's lovely, beautiful, lovely colour and the smell, so fresh, so fresh. But I'll move you over to our tomatoes, different varieties, different sizes and the first time this year we've grown the plum ones, these like that, they are really nice. They are coming, ripening slowly, that's the only problem. I don't know whether any of you guys are having that same problem, but we are. There's a little shallots. They've all dried off, ready for to be put into their pickling, because the mother-in-law loves her pickling shallots. There's some of the, only a few of the potatoes we took up the other week. Um, let's just have a look, see what label we've got the manito. There we go, they were done on the 6th of the 4th, 19. We have had some of those for lunch on a Sunday. Don't take a lot of cooking. 
and they are lovely beautiful taste and then over to the next thing which most of you will be getting a lot of is your beans this is only just a small selection you see the other selection um, in their baskets for their friends which they're going to be taking back to Catrick and uh, enjoying he's a good cook apparently so yes that's our little selection for today so the next time you see myself and my wife we will be at the allotment doing a lot of work a lot of repair work come the winds we've had and we get in today as well has knocked Bean Alley around tremendously unfortunately the bean, the bean poles the gentleman gave us before he left they were a bit brittle and they couldn't stand the pressure of the winds so yes a lot of work to be done a lot of harvesting and I will give you an update on air five pumpkins which we've got coming on nicely so we'll see you at the allotment bye for now hello and welcome back to bookends allotments on this windy but sunny Sunday morning you can see I'll show you some of the damage that those very high winds and rain we had has done the first well just pan you around the first one is the cage the netting's been damaged it's been ripped out basically those winds really did some uh, damage to it the pumpkins you can see there they're coming on nicely they've loved all that rain they've gone mad let's just spin you around to the tomatoes yes as everybody else their tomatoes are still green but large I'll just show you by the hand as you can see lovely tomatoes but no redness on them hardly not as much as last year very very disappointed but we've got some it's better than nothing spin you around to this section over here I won't show you the missus's feet <laughs> yeah the, the were they plum tomatoes John? yeah the Romanos the Romanos yeah they're uh, San, Mar San Marzano San Marzano but they're slowly ripening there's but there's there's loads but still green uh, but never mind the old cucumber plant down there he's looking if the missus will show you can you just lift those leaves, yeah? Just spin you around. There we go. We had a nice one off him yesterday. Yeah, we did, yes. One over off him. But uh, the mini cucumber over there, he's doing well. The courgette plant there, he's, he hasn't produced so many. Which is good. Which is good, because uh, courgettes, they can be a pain in the bum. And what's that, Jan, there? Next to the, well, in between the blueberry bushes. There he is, what? Um... Spinach. Spinach, is it? It hasn't gone to seed this time beet. yet. Spinach beet. Hmm, we'll give it a go. But yeah, we've got a few weeds. They pop up out of everywhere. They do. But we will uh, show you the rhubarb. It's just going down now. We've had a real good picking out of it this year. I think there's a few more stems to take, but not a lot now. The tunnel. That's got the leaks in it. I'm really pleased with them this year. They're coming on really nice. And uh, let's just show you. The hopefully the wind isn't making it too bad. Bean Alley, as you can see, is being held up by ropes. Let's just show you. It is leaning quite bad. It is producing a lot of beans. As I'll zoom in and show you, I'm going to work out this zoom one day. There we go. Nice size beans, but the canes, if I can get it in, zoom it into there, they've snapped. I've had to reinforce some while the wife's been holding the frame there. It's been very, very awkward. Bean. And, sorry? Bean. Bean. Awkward. Been awkward, yes, it has been. Yeah, she's making a joke there. <laughs> but never mind. Sorry about that jolt. Yeah, as you can see, some of the cables are starting to lean, but the end, it's not very good at all. 
I think I'm gonna have to see one of the chaps on the allotment. He is into the forestry commission and everything. He works for them, so if he can get me some new canes, which he got his next door neighbor, uh, will be better, a lot more flexible next year. What have we got in this one, Jan, in the, in the tunnel here? What, apart from weeds? Apart from, I'm not gonna show you the weeds. <laughs> <laughs> grown well. Oh yeah, they're loving it. But what have we got in here? Is it broccoli? Purple sprouting broccoli and, and uh, two lots of sprouts. Purple sprouting broccoli and two lots of sprouts. I think you can just about see through the netting, which that had some uh, battering as well. We had to get these new clips. These. These are um, market store clips. Oh, okay, market stall clips, as the missus just said. And they've held, oh, I'll keep dropping the blinking thing. Sorry about this. It's got such a, a tight spring on it. We did use those type of clips and they just kept popping. So we didn't want the old cabbage fly and whatever to get in there on the brassicas. Let's just spin you around to the peas. They, they are gonna need a good harvest. They're going to be picked today, the wife says. Yes. And so, fair few pods. Nice sized pods on them. So, yes. These will all be picked. Look at these little beauties down here. Sorry about that rattling. There we go. They are looking all nice. Filled out pods. The old French beans on the bottom have had a good, real good picking but they're still producing more. And I'll just spin you around to the pumpkins. There they are. Look at those beauties. Two there, and the large one. I'll stick my hand in so you've got some idea. Look at that. He is lovely. Beautiful, he's gonna make a good uh, Halloween pumpkin. And we didn't know we've got one there. So he's only a littly one, but he's coming on. The butternut squash haven't done so well this year. We've taken one off. But they're quite small. Those two over there ain't too bad. But uh, he's, he's still producing. But um, not as many as last year. The petty pans or patty pens or whatever they're called. There's some more going to be coming on here, there's some flowers. The old ugly pumpkins are really starting to look. They're, um, if I can just move that leaf out of the way. There he is. There he is. He's looking quite gnarly and ugly. He's got one hell of a stem on him. But uh, yes, things are slowly coming to an end. Let's just show you this one up close. I think they're okay. Look at that. Real ugly. But, first time we tried them this year as well. These tomatoes are coming out today. They've had a real wind battering snapped off and everything. Even though there's some good sizes on there. They haven't uh, reddened off either. And this little pumpkin. He's coming on nicely as well. He is. So is my hand to that. And it's quite a good pumpkin. We've got another little one over there. I don't think there's any more. No, no. A few flowers and weeds. But let's have a nice close up of the old sunflower. He's only a little one, but he's beautiful. He is absolutely beautiful. Just pop you into the greenhouse. Out of the wind. There's our onions, which are drying nicely. They're ready to be strung. Some of the peppers. Nice ones. Gnarly one there. He's changing colour nicely. Yes. And a beautiful red one. I showed you some of those on the front, which are coming on nicely. Mint's died. Never mind, we've got another one. He's got some more peppers on the pepper plants. And, uh, yeah, they need a good watering and feed. Beautiful. Beautiful these. We had some last night. 
and they were lovely. There's some more of the onions, which are nicely dried off now. We can just uh, pack them off. The miss had put in some carrots. We had a nice little batch of carrots, so she decided to put some more in. And they are coming on nicely. Yeah, definitely. Different varieties, I think. She did put a label in somewhere, but I can't see it. But never mind. That was a oh yes, yeah, she did. Yes, she did. Let's uh, zoom into that. Let's have a look. There we go. Red cord too. And this one is. Excuse the shakes and the wind. Just blowing everything around. Try and get out the wind early. That's true, yes. So they're slowly coming on. We like getting carrots. It's brewing up for a storm. You'll have to excuse the. It's really starting to blow. Back joy. Gone to seed, unfortunately. There are some in there that happened. But they're coming on nicely. I'm trying to protect the. Um, Mike from the wind, but I do apologise again. But the Swiss chard looking lovely, the parsnips, and we've got some beetroot on the end. I haven't had a look at them recently. Yeah, yeah, they're coming on nicely. What are they? Beetroot F1s, but yeah, as you can see, like I said. The bean structure is leaning, so but it's producing beans. We'll be having another picking up there today. But yeah, the allotments had a battery, and I think it's going to get another battery from those clouds. I'll just turn round and show you. Yeah, there we go. It looks a bit black, so I think we're in for a little storm. So I'll sign off for myself and the wife. Happy gardening or happy allotmenteering and hope you're enjoying the fruits of your labour. So from myself, it's bye bye for now. Right, um, we decided to do a potato reveal again. It's a mystery this one. We can't find the label but it might turn up. So let's see what we've got. They're looking good. Dinner today. <laughs> I'll get down on my knees. They're nice decent sized potatoes. Definitely nice potatoes. Ooh, looking forward to these. I think it might be a way in when I get them home. They might be then, Cara's, and it is. We topped them up, didn't we? Yeah. Well, we'll see. The label's got to be there somewhere. We'll see if we can find it. But they're looking good. For a main, if they are, and they're a main crop, they're nice. They look the size of a main crop. Yeah. But the beauty of it is, in the pots, no scabbing. Mm. Very true. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And there's more. Well, if these are the main crop, we're going to get a decent crop this year, I think. It's got to beat last year's 71 pound. I thought I'd see a label then.
I think you're right, Janet. Might have been that label it was sat on. Yeah. Well, the only thing we can do then is, is to um, do another one that has got a car label in it to be on the safe side. Sure? Yeah, no problem. Okay, I'll just go get one. So she knocks the tape on the head. Okay, tub number two, and these are caras, so we'll soon see by the potato itself. Yeah, I would say so. Just kneel down. Yeah. Yeah. They're caras, main crops. Nice size. Very nice size. Like we always do folks, we'll put these into our Hessian sacks. Nice cool dry place. So we can store them, just use them when we want. Stop some from going off. That's a seed one. Beautiful these are. Definitely having some of these for din dins today. <laughs> With the lamb, the peas. Uh, what else have we got, Jan? Beans, of course. More beans. More beans. Are we looking like a bean? And some French beans. I want some French beans. Mm. Half full French beans. And if you're lucky, I might make you a rhubarb crumble. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> I think that is it. I'll just pop them on here so you can see them. So after Mrs. comes, well, I'll tilt it. That's that lot. The old mushroom tray, it's quite full. I would say there's a good, being a fisherman, uh, it's 20 pound. <laughs> Gotta be 20 pound. Yeah. Now, I'd say, a good six pound, maybe seven of potatoes there, so I'm happy, my stomach will be happy, so we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.